So the next title for the Android lineup has arrived with Google launching its next Android version, Android P for its Pixel devices. Now this time the flavor might be pancake, pastel, pastry or something like that. So in this video let's check out the new features which comes with the new version of Android, Android P. Before starting this video make sure to hit the red subscribe button on our channel and also press the bell icon beside it as to get quick notifications of our new uploads. Unlike Android Oreo, Android P comes with a ton of new features. So at first let's talk about the native notch support. With the launch of the iPhone 10, display with a notch has become a trend nowadays. Android P is adding support for display cutouts or the top notch that allows developers to upload apps that support the different sizes of cutouts ranging from narrow cutouts like what we have seen on the essential phone to a bigger ones like what we have seen on the new Asus Zenfone 5Z. Now the first developer preview of the Android P can also simulate the notch if the device that you are working on or you are testing apps on doesn't even have a physical notch or a cutout. Next comes multi-camera support. Android P developer one also added the multi-camera API that allows developers as well as users to natively access multiple cameras available on a smartphone. So if your phone is having dual cameras then with Android P you can access the full function of each camera while taking bokeh shots, zoomed images and even for developers it allows them to access different streams on devices that have two or more physical cameras. Now talking about the performance with the release of Android P Google is implementing enhancements to its Android runtime where developers can optimize applications and reduce their wastage of application codes. Now Android P also has got another feature called indoor positioning. So Google also added a feature of indoor positioning on Android P via Wi-Fi RTT which is also known as 802.11mc. Now this is only a name or a number but the actual work of this is really great. So suppose you are inside of a shopping mall and you are searching for a specific store then in Google Maps now we will get support for indoor positioning where it will detect your position inside of that mall and will give you directions to that specific store inside the shopping mall. So we'll be seeing a lot of indoor navigation application soon for Android P. Now talking about the new security features, Android P will prevent inactive applications from accessing your phone's camera or the microphone. So this time social media applications won't be able to spy on users while running in the background as the new Android version will block access to the phone's camera as well as the microphone when the application is in inactive state. With Android P comes new look and design in the overall UI starting from the notification tray as well as the quick settings panel. Now it has got this rounded look at the top and the bottom of the shade. The corners are rounded with a line separating each notification. Google has also given the quick settings menu a brand new look. This time the buttons have a new look that better shows off when that functionality is turned on or off. The settings menu is also redesigned in Android P. Unlike the dull look in Nougat and Oreo, this time in Android P, the settings menu gets a new look that adopts a lot more color. In this version, each section within the settings app gets a new icon each with its own color. Google has also came up with their new screenshot editing tool called Markup which gives some basic controls for cropping a screenshot as well as doodling with tools like pen and highlighter. New autofill APIs has also been released with Android P that will allow more third party password manager applications to use the autofill feature on Android P. And finally the developer preview one of Android P also adds supports for HDR VP9 video and HEIF image format. So Apple now uses the HEIF image format for images compiled in Apple devices and with Android P you don't need to compress or convert those images to JPEG format as the new Android version will natively support the HEIF image format. So in simple words the HEIF image format will take less storage space on your device as well as you won't lose any image quality. So guys that was it for the features of the 
first developer preview of Android P and for Pixel users, Android P is not yet a part of the Android beta program. So if you're interested to try it, then you need to manually flash the image file on your Pixel device. Android P is currently supported for Pixel devices only. And if you're interested in manually flashing the image file, then you can check out the link in the description. I'll provide the image file download link in the description. So definitely check it out. And guys, that was it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to hit the like button down below and also do subscribe to your channel. Until next time, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.